In today's video, I am going to be breaking down a very simple offense for youth basketball. You can run this at any age. It is called the Drive Kick Swing Offense, and it is one of the plays that I run with my U12 team up here in Canada, which would equal 11U in the States. Let's get down and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so first, for example, if the ball was to start at the point, if player one was to drive to the basket, he now needs to find a man to either pass the ball out to or he can score himself. That is the beauty of this offense. Everyone likes to drive to the rim. They're going to be doing it anyways if they have an open lane, so you might as well teach them how to kick that ball out and then fill out afterwards. This is why I like to teach this as one of the first offenses I teach to every team I coach. So for example, if player one was to drive to the rim, he's got four options to pass to. He can pass to three, he can pass to four, he can pass to five, which might be a bit risky, and he can pass to player two, and he can score. Something about this offense, though, is most of the time it is going to be a five-out offense. If you want the complete guide to the five-out basketball offense, make sure to go check out the link that is down in the description below. If, for example, player one passes the ball out to player three, just like the five-out basic offense of pass and cut, player one passes to this side, he needs to fill out the opposite side, which means that player five is going to fill up and player two is going to fill up also. When this happens, we now have player 3 who needs to make a decision. He needs to either pass up to player 4 or drive to the rim himself. If he was to drive to the rim, now he's got 4 options. He can pass out to player 4, he can pass to player 5, 2, as well as player 1. Now, he would be looking to pass the ball out if, for example, we have player 1's defender who comes down to play help. Well, that will generally leave player one wide open, and that would be a nice clear pass to player one. If player three was to pass to player one, or really any of the other players, just like five out pass and cut, when he cuts to the rim, he needs to fill out to the same spot he came from if he came from the corner. Now, drive, kick, swing. We drove, we kicked the ball out, now we can also swing the ball. This is very useful when defenses, for example, let's say player one's defender came off and played help. Now player two's man, when that ball gets kicked out, will probably usually recover to player one. That extra pass could be an open three-point shot. Now, for example, if player one was to pass to player two, let's say defense recovered, player one now needs to cut to the rim. Just like pass and cut, he will cut to the rim. If he's open, you can hit him for a pass. If he's not open, he will then clear out just because he came from the corner, he will clear back out to the corner. Now there's a few different options that you can actually do in this. So for example, if player two was to drive to the rim, let's say he kicked the ball out to player one. Just as an example, he could kick the ball out to any of these players. It doesn't matter. But just for argument's sake, let's say he passes the ball out to player one. We can also run this where if he kicks that ball out, he can set that screen on player one who he passed to, or he can set a back screen on somebody else instead. This is very useful because now we have collapsed the defense. They're all scrambling back to their guys where now player two sets that back screen on player five. Player five can then cut to the rim and now we may have an option for player five. If none of this is open, just like pass and cut, player two will fill here. Because player five just cut, he fills out to the opposite side as the ball. Player four fills up, player three lifts, and now we can cycle through once again. Let's say player one drives, kicks to the opposite side. He now fills back out, and we are back in our regular offense still in pass and cut, but also drive, kick, swing. And when they swing it, it's pass and cut. So we just had that kick out pass. If he makes that swing pass over to player five, player three has to cut because he just passed, he has to do something. And now everybody fills in and then player three fills out. This is a super simple offense that you can run. Make sure to go check out the complete guide to the five out basketball offense that is down in the description below. And I hope that this play helps your team win more games. If it does hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again in my next video.